Welcome back to another episode of Consciously Clueless. You're here because you want to learn about how to live a healthier life, how to live more sustainably, how to take your everyday actions and make them work for you and the planet. Sometimes it might feel like you've got this figured out and other times you probably feel lost. That's why I'm here. Together, we will learn how to live happier, healthier lives without the need to be perfect and always allowing space for a little cluelessness on this journey to living a more conscious life. Here we go. This podcast is supported by Will's Vegan Store. Will's Vegan Store has been a vegan company at the front of vegan clothing and sustainable fashion since they launched in 2013 by their founder, Will Green. They produce the most beautiful, vegan, sustainably made shoes, clothing, and accessories. I have been obsessed with this brand for years now. They were one of the first vegan brands that I really made the switch to. It can be hard to thrift shoes, but I love knowing that if I'm going to purchase a pair of shoes from Will's Vegan Store, they are going to be ethically made, their workers are protected, they don't use plastic packaging, they're delivered in an environmentally friendly way. It's truly the most amazing company to support. So if you're ready to try them yourself, hit the link in the show notes so they know that I sent you. Okay, so today's solo episode is going to be about defining our terms. I kind of feel like I'm back in college where I have to start my paper with here's the terms I'm going to use and here are their definitions. But it's really important when we use jargon to know what it means, if it matters, and all that. So today we will be looking at green versus eco-friendly versus sustainable. These are all words I use a lot. They are all used pretty interchangeably when looking at stuff kind of in this realm, in this world, but I wanted to, for myself and for all of us listening, to kind of figure out what they mean and then also talk about does it really matter and what should you be looking for. So let's start with one that I probably use the most, and that is sustainability. Now, sustainability is probably the word out of these three with the highest standards for what that actually means when someone uses it. So this great article I found that I'll link in the show notes says that sustainability sets the focus on the future. It means the item or action is generating environmental, social, and economic benefits while not using up too many resources or causing pollution. So all of these points are covered under one word. When I started reading into this for this episode, I kind of look at sustainability as this umbrella term that may not be completely right, but it feels like sustainable has this broad reach because it has a wide scope of issues, but it's actually pretty defined. So there are a lot of things that can fall into this. And really, at the end of the day, If something is sustainable, it is not compromising the ability of future generations to meet the needs of that product or that thing. So sustainability really has a focus on the future. If you are thinking about living sustainably, you're trying to, the goal is, right, and of course we're not aiming for perfection, we're aiming for what's possible within our reach, but that we can do. And so if we're trying to live sustainably, We're really trying to live in a way that causes the least impact on the earth for the future. Living sustainably means living in a way that is not taking so much more than you are giving. So that kind of regenerative idea of really um, giving back what you take or just taking less. So the idea of sustainability really puts the focus on the future. The next one is green, and that one is really just a marketing tool at this point. Yes, things can be more green. You can live a more green life. It is not just the color, unless that is your favorite color. You want to live a more green life. Live your life green. But what it means in this context is basically just anything that can benefit the environment. Uh, Any idea of 
being helpful for the environment, living for the environment, but not really clearly defined on what that means, just kind of like loosey-goosey term, is green. So you're living in a more green way. This is a greenly made whatever. But at the end of the day, again, green is often a marketing term. So you'll see green on like your shampoo bottle, or you'll see green advertised at an event or something. And because it's just so loose, the idea is nice, but it's one that you might want to check up on a little bit more. Eco-friendly is another one that I think is really broad and that is used a lot in marketing with products, with events, with campaigns, with concerts, like everything these days. You see eco-friendly because it's this idea of being eco, being environmental, and environmental can kind of be used here with eco-friendly. Eco-friendly, I think, is a term people like literally because the word friendly is in there. I think people like it because it makes you feel good to be like, I'm eco-friendly. I am being friendly towards the planet. That's really the definition here. It means that something doesn't harm the planet. So again, that's broad. It's maybe a little less broad than just green, because green is anything benefiting the environment. Eco-friendly then is saying benefiting the environment, but like also let's not harm it. And then again, sustainability to come back is that one that has more of a clear definition. It sets the focus on the future. Green and eco-friendly to me are terms that have really been co-opted from our capitalist system in trying to make us buy more products and buy things without guilt because markets are realizing that there is money to be made in this idea of sustainability, living green, eco-friendly, insert one of these terms here. But I think a lot of times, and we know a lot of times, these companies are doing that to get you to buy their product and aren't actually green, eco-friendly, or sustainable in the slightest. So while these terms all might mean different things, and while You may like one more than the other, or one appeals to you more than the other. I think sustainable and sustainability has more of an actual definition. But even so, if you have the privilege to have the time and the money to be doing research to see if the things in your life are green, eco-friendly, sustainable, let's just use sustainable from here on out, you should do the research. If you can... You should see, is this bottle of shampoo actually green? Is it actually sustainable? Or are they just saying green because they put some plant extracts in it and now it feels like they can use that term? So I would always be wary of these terms in general if you are making purchases. But in terms of using them to explain kind of a lifestyle You can use whatever you want as long as you know that they need to be defined for you. They might look different to other people. And what matters most is that you're paying attention to this as much as you can. If you're listening to this episode, you are already interested in these things, which, hell yeah, you're amazing. But it's just a reminder that while these terms mean something, (laughs) they kind of don't. Right. And I know that sounds really contradicting and I'm sticking with sustainable as my best option if I had to choose one. But again, if you have the ability to, it's really important to just look up what these mean for the situation you're in. How are the products shipped? How are the products made? How are the people making this product treated? Are they paid beyond a living wage and treated fairly? Those are the types of questions you can ask And don't just trust that all of those things are going on and that it's a perfect product because it says green or eco-friendly or even sustainable. I know that that might add some frustration. I was trying to eliminate confusion, but I think I realized that all I'm saying is they kind of mean something and they kind of don't. I hope that doesn't add to any frustration, but just reminds you that to be sustainable in this movement means to actively be researching and learning and calling out when things aren't actually holding up to the terms they're using. If someone is using sustainable on their packaging and you can't find anything 
about sustainability of their company or business, that's a problem. Shoot them an email, right? Like if people are using these terms, we should know what they mean and they should be held accountable. I hope that was helpful. If there are more terms within the sustainability, wellness, vegan world that you need to find and you need help on, let me know. I would love to define them. This podcast is supported by Parade Underwear. Parade believes that the materials that touch your skin should be as comfortable as possible wherever life takes you. That's why their styles come in a large range of fabrics from seamless universal that disappears under clothes to cozy waffles plush comfort that keep you comfy on every occasion. Parade understands that everyone deserves to express themselves however they choose because we're all unique. And Parade knows that there's no parade without our planet. They strive to make all of their products from reclaimed, recycled, responsible, renewable, or regenerative materials. This is really a win-win-win. I love Parade. I've been wearing them for a while now, and I can't recommend them enough. And of course, we love the mission. Use code consciously.carly for 20% off your first order. That's C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-L-Y dot C-A-R-L-Y, consciously dot Carly. Enjoy your new undies. Thanks for listening to another episode of Consciously Clueless. If you're enjoying this podcast, please subscribe, share with your friends, put it on social media. Don't forget to tag me. If you're on Apple Podcasts or Good Pods, leave a review. Reviews and shares help more people to see the podcast and join in on the fun. If you want to make sure to stay up to date on future episodes, follow me at Consciously Carly on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or Pinterest, and head to consciouslycarly.com to sign up for the newsletter. Ready for more Conscious Living content? Check out patreon.com slash consciouslycarly and join the exclusive community over there. And finally, if you're ready to take better care of yourself and the world, let's work together. Click the link in the show notes to head to the website, find out more, and schedule a free discovery call with me. Chat soon.